What's going on, everybody? We're having a great day. We had a great Monday of trading. Before I get into it, I just want to say one thing. It's telling me on YouTube that most of my views are from non-subscribers. And when I say most, I mean not most. It was like 40% uh, of my views are not subscribers. So please go subscribe. That's all I ask. I never try to sell anything. I'm just trying to get people to subscribe. So with that out of the way, let's look at the market. So I slept in. I didn't mean to. I missed the market open. I woke up right around in here and I traded PULM. But look, look at this move. What a crazy move from, I guess the trade probably would have been pre-market, of course. And uh, it went from 8.20 to 10 bucks. Now, I don't know where you would have sold. I probably would have been selling on the way up here. I don't know if at market open, if I would have bought this uh, $9 support. I'd like to think that I would have bought that, but I don't know if I would have tried to buy this dip again here at support when it when it washed out. I, I don't know. And then if I would have stopped out properly, because this is the kind of setup that usually screws me, but Anyways, I didn't trade that. I traded PULM instead. Now, looking at it now, it's kind of like maybe I should have held on to some of it longer. But anyways, my trades were in here and I made a pretty nice profit for just this tiny move. So if we go to the video here, I guess I was already watching it. Let's watch it right here. So I open up my platform. I start recording. It's like 9.49. I'm looking at what's going on. I just see ADXS right now, and then I'm looking for something else to trade. I like PULM, <clears throat> but I don't see the entry yet. I don't see it reclaiming VWAP, so I just I don't like it quite yet. I'm still watching it, and that was my trigger. That was my buy trigger. Right here is when it reclaimed this level here and VWAP. I immediately liked it. So I was just looking for a good price to get in. I tried to get the 270 entry, but instead I just put my shares up at 171 and I was filled 3000 shares. Now <clears throat> we know that 3000 shares is a bit much for me, but this stock is very liquid. It barely moves. And it's a very low price. So this is like a $5,000 investment, let's say. So uh, part of it was, you know, I did miss the move on ADXS. And I did want to make a good profit. Otherwise, I probably would have just taken 2000 That is the only mistake that I can think of on this trade. Was taking 3,000 shares. But with that said, my stop allowed me to have a, uh, a loss that was less than my daily max loss. What is that calculator? If I'd have gotten stopped out for 3,000 shares times, what was six cents? It would have been, it would have been really tight. <laughs> I won't lie. It would have been tight if I had gotten stopped out there, but that was the risk I was willing to take. <clears throat> and, and my profit here was well in line with uh, like a three to one ratio. So that was all good. But if I had gotten this wrong, I would have had to stop. I would have been done for the day. I would have blown my whole load, my whole all my bullets <laughs> on uh, on one trade because you know, my max loss is 200 bucks. So anyways, let's watch this. I'm holding, I'm holding, I'm holding. Just waiting. You know, this is starting to look really good to me. We're getting bought up on volume. I'm not selling early. For the love of God, I'm not making any more trading errors if we call this a trading error, buying 3,000 shares. Now here I'm raising my stop, so now my max loss is only $90. I do end up moving that, I think. And I'm watching how it reacts around 177. And 177 was that pre-market high that's back here. You can't really see it anymore. And I'm just trying to think of a good spot to start selling. So we dip back down. We're bought back up. I'm just kind of doing it quickly here. 
We're not really slamming through the lows of any candle. So this is the only spot I started to get a little nervous. I said if this candle is not bought up, this higher low, and if we don't bust over back over this level and then immediately over 177, that will make this trade invalid. And therefore, I'm going to keep my stop at 167, 4 cents, $120 under VWAP, and then I said that's it. That's it. <clears throat> In the meantime, I'm looking at ADXS. Um, PULM works out. I say, eh. Like, again, look at this. Look, you can see my unrealized profit. It's pretty good, right? We're getting close to, the, to my target. And I say, this isn't really my target, but maybe I should be selling in here. This is kind of the emotions I'm going through. Again, I'm just going to play this live. So, I just say, okay, I'm going to take 500 off there at, at 86. Another 500 off. I tried to get it off at 87, but it got off at 85. So now I've sold 1,000 shares. I've locked in some profit. And I say to myself, now I can hold. Now I can just stress-free hold, even all the way back down to my entry. Do I raise my stop? Yeah, I raise my stop to break even on the last 2,000 shares. So I'm just chilling. I'm just letting it do what it's going to do. It's either going to bust through the highs or I'm going to get stopped out. I'm going to have a little profit and I'm just going to say, okay, that's fine. But I'm not going to just sell in the middle here. I I think that that's very crucial that a lot of people do that is they look at this and they go, this is what it looks like to have patience and to let your winners run. I think I think this is a prime example of letting your winners run. Because everyone says, oh, do that, and then cut your loser short. But it doesn't really make that much sense when you're in a trade, I think. Or people don't know what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Uh, I think it just means letting it run to your target and just not selling early. So I'm just waiting, 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 waiting. Uh, it shoves up here to 189. And I think it's going to break through the high of 190, and then it doesn't. So I get nervous, and I, now I'm starting to sell. Now I'm like, okay, if this is rejected, then this is not good. And then, and you can see it's already getting slammed down. And I'm thinking to myself, oh god, did I just miss my exit? But in fact, I didn't. I get filled on a thousand of those shares up here again, and I'm still holding on to a thousand. Now. I just start selling in like 200 share increments as we bust here let me just back that up as we bust up towards two bucks I'm selling in 200 share increments there's another 200 200 200 to two dollars and then I just hold on to 400 I add back where is it here another 300 as we come back down to the 194-ish breakout level, I got filled at 194, and then I just start selling those as we get up towards the highs. I'm back down to only 200 shares, and then I finally stop out of the 200 shares. Under this candle, I have a, an automatic stop, and uh, that's where I get stopped out, right there. So. And then it kept going. Like this is that was that last stop out, and <laughs> this is where the stock is right now. So I don't know. Uh, I should have. I was doing something else at the time. I should have seen that this was holding. And the fact that this is holding means that everyone before this breakout who was short is stuck. So they're kind of screwed at this point. And then once the momentum came in and the shorts got squeezed, it started to go more parabolic. That's why this is much steeper than uh, this kind of movement, which had a nice kind of slopey, and then all of a sudden it goes up. So we'll see what it does from here. I would not expect it to go through $3, but it very well could. And a good entry, I guess, was the support right here around 250 But the only real support to me is down here on the daily at 233 so other than that um a great trade i think we'd all agree that was a pretty good trade good entries good exits maybe just the wrong size 
and maybe I could have gotten a better entry if I, well, I'm not going to, I'm going to say that entry was pretty good. So with that, like I said, guys, please subscribe. Let's hit 700 subs. That would make me so happy. Like, you know, just commenting and seeing people's comments about and their questions and like how I'm helping them with stuff. That is why I do this. That's what makes me feel good. That's what makes me feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside. And just seeing the uh, the sub count go up again. That's all I. That's all I really care about. I'm not. I'm not trying to push out a course or get you to sign up for my broker. I don't give a shit about any of that. I'm just trying to become the best trader that I can, and you guys are along for the ride. So we will see you tomorrow. Peace.